up, so guys, with my turn to be on Pokemon Miller Be Little Book, and today we're gonna be doing What If Ukraine Made an Empire? Um, don't, don't, like, uh, don't think anything about my personal projects up here, those are just stuff I work on in my free time, but I, uh, will, I hope you enjoyed this video, and, um, the, the front lines of, of the Russia-Ukrainian war, I try to make them as accurate as possible, they might be a little bit incorrect, but, uh, don't, don't judge me on that, okay, in the comments. So, yeah, let's begin. So, first of all, Ukraine... Ukraine continues its counterattacks. They continue to go successfully. Oh, and also Ukraine is more buffed in this universe. They, they get, like, way more buffed right now. So, they were... So, thanks to that, they are able to um, go down and capture... Um, they man managed to push um, back, back this river... They go down, they which they reach Crimea, push back the Russians, they capture most of the Baltic coast. Uh, then but Russian troops and Donbass rebels continue to fight over here. Ukraine makes a breakthrough in Crimea. And ultimately captures Sevastopol, which ultimately leads to the capture of all Crimea. They they continue to push back. The Russians until they ultimately capture the rest of the country back. Russia still does not want to. Russia still doesn't want to give up, so they continue to fight. Ukraine um, pushes through and captures territories of Russia, but not much. As ultimately Putin is the but ultimately Vladimir Putin is deposed along with the government. As the new government um, signed for peace with the with Ukraine, with this new borders are given, some land is given to Ukraine because because of Russia's invasion. They're given expansions over here, including Ostov. But yeah, that's um, that's about it. As you, as um, Zelensky is now, as now, ninety percent of the population support, supports um Zelensky and his and and his government, as he led the nation to victory in the war. And Russia begins a full-on uh movement towards full democracy and not a dictatorship under like under. Like under Putin. Also after this, um, also after this, Ukraine will be turned red, as this was a defensive war. But after this, Zelensky continues to want to expand his country and turn it into a major power in in the world. Also, yeah, also, um. All, all factions are gone. You should probably notice by now if you watch all my other videos. Because all factions like the UN, NATO, and EU don't exist. So this allows for um, Ukraine's invasion of Moldova. And Moldova is a fairly country. Um, Romania does support the country a little bit, but it's not enough to keep Romania Moldova alive. They also occupy Transnistria as well. And ultimately... Moldova and Tran Tran Transnistria. I'm sorry if I'm uh, butchered that. I'm very sorry. And also, if I do sound a little bit sick, I am I am sick right now. But I still want to upload as I enjoyed it a lot. But looking at its new situation, Ukraine has found itself a, um, a much more powerful country in Europe and, and much more unified, more powerful country in Europe. So taking the opportunity, it um it sees uh Belarus as its next um goal. As Belarus is falling apart after uh Putin's um deport Putin's fall of regime, um people people in the country demand in the demands a new government, but as with as yeah, they started rebelling and to help and get some little bit of land. Uh, 
Ukraine invades. So the rebellion, so the rebellion, rebellion happens is in the yellow. The Belarusian government is in blue, and then Ukraine is in, of course, in red. Ukraine launches a full-scale invasion across the entire border. The the Belarusian government is quickly falling apart as being crushed by both sides. Its military mostly defects to the uh, either surrender to Ukraine or defects to the rebellions. And ultimately, this is what uh, this is what the this is what Belarus ends up turning at as with the end of the war. So with this. A much stronger Ukraine gets a decent chunk of land with Kiev being put behind behind more space as to protect it more. So with annexing that, they they did not annex any any more than that. They retreat out of um the remainder. Wait, why do I keep doing that? Uh, they retreat out of the remainder of. Um, Belarus, the new government is put installed and is recognized by the world. With this, Ukraine, um, Ukraine now has how now has an ally, a Belarus, which um, both countries support each other as Ukraine um, begins to rebuild Belarus after the war, securing a ally. And also, relations with Russia are, are very good after the war, with the new government. And so, at this point, they they have they have several options, in which they do um they attack Romania for some for some for something very strategic, oil. Also, they want to also they want to control all the Black Sea, but mostly the oil. Because like right here, the main oil fields. Um, Ukraine continues on to be self de self dependent, so they um need need the oil of Romania. They launch an invasion, capture Bucharest, and the areas that they want. Romania continues to hold out as ultimately Ukraine launches. Invasion from the north as Romania refuses to surrender. After a little bit more fighting, ultimately Romania sees no point in continuing, and it's um, certain that that the nation has lost. With this, that is ceded over to Ukraine. As they um as they turn Romania into a landlocked country, and ultimately at this point, Ukraine, um, every single one of its neighbors, especially Bulgaria, at this point is very scared as seeing what just happened to Romania, and and their goals of um conquering the um the black sea they um bulgaria launches a massive mobilization and ultimately also invades and annexes macedonia sorry about that i don't want to color in bulgaria but yeah just just know they invade and annex macedonia but uh that's very controversial throughout the world um So with this, um, and also Bulgaria making like a pact, and also Bulgaria making an alliance with uh, Albania, Albania, Montenegro, and Croatia, along with Slovenia, again just continue creating expansion to the Balkans. Um, Ukraine is forced to divert its um, goes from there, and ultimately launches an invasion 
of Poland. The reason for this is to, uh, is to get a little bit more land out of, is just to expand its territory, and also, um, they have been, they have launched, a Ukraine launched a program where it settled a lot of these areas and turned them into eth ethnically um, Ukrainian majority and it uses that as a uh, as an objective of the war to unite all Ukrainians. I said, can you please? And also, um, I don't want any hate on my videos. These are just for pure entertainment only and are not meant to be fictional. Like I, I know the mount I know um like mountains in um Norway, Sweden, and also Austria do exist. It's just for make make the video move, go f make the video move faster, and um just for entertainment purposes too. And also thank you so much for um hundred subscribers. It means just a, so much to me. And so back to the video. With this, Poland, um, they, Poland accepts their, um, Ukraine peace treaty of just annexing the ethnic, um, majority, um, Ukrainian areas in its east. With this, Ukraine continues to slowly expand in, um, and is now and is now is ranked at as the ninth most powerful country in the world due to its expansion and their and under Zelensky's rule. Zelensky at this point has um uh, has become so popular among the people that he's um continues to be elected for for term for almost thirty years. And yeah, that's solely because the people support him so much, and he's uniting and making Ukraine stronger now. But now, um, Zelensky sees a problem right here. This this area right here of um, Slovakia. It it's kind of ugly the border, so he wants to like make it more cleaner. And so with that, he, um, he invades, um, he invades Slovakia just, um, to accomplish that, that goal. He swiftly occupies that area, sends a peace treaty to Slovakia. They did not, surprisingly. So, yeah, they continue just, to, um, go to the country and occupy the entire thing. With this, they decide to just, um, annex just all of it. It does, it does, like, ruin his goal of making a clean border. But he, but he has a fix, he has a fix for that. He turns, he annexes, after annexing the region, he sets up a, um, he sets up a puppet, um, in the, um, western part of it. Which becomes known as the, um, Republic of... Um, which becomes the Republic of Slovakia, and is more, um, which is way more democratized, and, and ultimately he begins to rebuild the country to a extent that it was never before. And at this point... Ukraine has Ukraine support satisfied. Um, all the people are satisfied with what they with with their accomplishments. They defeated Russia, gained lands, inserted Crimea. They took land from Belarus, Poland, Slovakia. They turned, then, then they turned the rest of Slovakia into a puppet. Um, Romania is it's a much weaker state at this point. They took over Transnistria in Moldova, and um. And being the eighth, eighth most powerful country in the world has, has certified them as a nation that should not be messed with. And if messed with, um, you would lose, probably. 
thank you. Thank um. I know that I know this was a shorter video, but I cannot make a really long video right now. I'm still I'm sick and like I'm pretty sick. I just wanted to make this video. So I'm for a hundred subscriber special at this point. Now it's a hundred and two at this right now at the time of recording. So thank, so thank you so much for watching and have a good and have a good Sunday.